Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a first look at DJI's brand new Action 2 and we'll be seeing how it compares to GoPro's Hero 10. In the video, we'll be comparing some key differences and at the end, I'll let you know who I think each action cam would be great for. The new Action 2 is a magnetic modular design which is different to the GoPro's traditional form factor. The benefit of this one is that you can separate the two and have a much smaller camera. The Osmo Action comes in two different kits, so you can get it in this kit just like this which has the double screen, the screen on the back and the front. Or you can get it in a power combo which doesn't have the screen on the bottom, it just has the regular power pack which allows you to record for a longer amount of time. So the GoPro 10 runs for 130 minutes on its own. With the Osmo Action on its own, it can run for 70 minutes, but with the power pack on the bottom with the screen mod, it can run for 160 minutes. With the power combo, you don't get the screen on the bottom, but it's able to run at 180 minutes. In terms of resolution, you are able to shoot at a high resolution with the GoPro and you're also able to have a few more different frame rate options. The GoPro shoots at 5K compared to 4K with the Osmo Action 2. With the Osmo Action 2, it comes with a few different accessories. First of all, it has a magnetic lanyard that you can use as a chest strap, as well as a few different mounting options. So with these different mounts, it comes with a sticky reusable mount, which you can pretty much put anywhere, as well as a tripod head, which is really useful, and also a stand-in mount, which also connects to several different GoPro accessories. The GoPro doesn't come with as many accessories. It comes with the standard buckle, a one-time adhesive, and a thumb screw. So with the GoPro, it does have the mount built into the bottom, so you can directly put it onto any GoPro accessory compared to the Osmo, which just has another attachment, but it easily connects and it's actually really secure with these little clips on the side. Finally, another difference between the two is that the Osmo Action has internal storage. It has 32 gigs and if you're wanting more, you just attach the module and you're able to add up to 256 gigs of storage. One thing to note is that when you do add the module to the bottom, it isn't waterproof anymore. So you will need to get housing to make the whole thing waterproof. With the GoPro, it doesn't have internal storage, but you are able to insert a micro SD up to 256 gigs. With the battery, it's removable. So you are able to take it out and replace it. And the whole thing is waterproof. So the GoPro has HyperSmooth 4.0, whereas the Osmo has Rocksteady 2.0, which is an improvement from the previous model. And it also includes horizon leveling, which is able to self adjust up to 360 degrees. With the GoPro, it's able to also do horizon leveling, but only up to 45 degrees. What this means is that with the Osmo, you can tilt your camera all the way around 360 and it will still keep your horizon level. <laughs> okay, so now we're doing a quick low light test and we can also test the microphones while we're here. So now you can hear me through the Osmo Action 2 and now you can hear me through the GoPro Hero 10. Also, while we're here, I can notice quite a difference between the screens. Um, the Osmo Action 2 screen is quite a lot bigger and brighter than the GoPro Hero 10. So now we're outside testing out both cameras. They're both on the widest angle they can be on, and we're shooting on 4K for both. So on the Osmo, we've got rock steady, and on the GoPro, we have HyperSmooth 4.0. Now you can hear me on the Osmo and now on the GoPro. After checking out both action cams, I think that the GoPro would be great for you if you are needing that extra resolution. It shoots at 5.3K and can take 23 megapixel photos. Whereas with the Osmo, it's a really versatile little camera. Its small form factor makes it really easy to attach to FPV drones or just anything magnetic. 
What I really love about this action camera is that it has quite a bright and easy to see screen on the front and back. For more information, we'll leave all of the links in the description below. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.